the way that we'll break up the session is Natalie will do the um, do the information session first, and then um, we'll have at least uh, a good 20, 20 or 30 minutes to answer specific questions you may have as well. Correct. Okay. All right. As I can do that courses and majors in the Monash Business School today. So I just wanted to start quickly because I know some of you might be offshore, some of you are onshore, some of you are wherever shore you may be or wherever country you may be. So I just wanted to highlight the fact that Monash Business School lives on three different campuses. So we have the Peninsula Campus for Business Administration, which you can see at the bottom of the screen. We've got the Clayton Campus, which is just above the Peninsula Campus, the Caulfield Campus and the Parfield Campus is for Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Um, the, the Clayton campus is obviously our biggest campus at Monash. As you can see, there's quite a lot of students who do study there. Um, and we house our commerce degree there. And then the Caulfield campus is where we house the, the business degree. And that's probably what I'd say is the second biggest campus for Monash in Australia. Okay, so let's just quickly go through the Bachelor of Business. So, the Bachelor of Business program is probably a very popular one and I'm sure a lot of you might be already sort of enrolled in that one once you've completed your diploma. This one here has quite a lot of majors available for you. Um, so there's 12 there and then you've also got 12 double degree alternatives. So what we mean by that is if you wanted to study business but maybe you really loved Tyson's journalism class you might want to do a Bachelor of Business and a Bachelor of Arts. So if you were doing that, that's great. And you can then do a double degree, okay? So these courses are really good for people who might have two different areas of interest. And they tend to be quite popular if people can't really decide which one they want over the other one, or if they want to be skilled in two totally different areas. So for example, you might want to do a Bachelor of Commerce and you might want to do a Bachelor of Engineering. So you might want to be a banker, but you might also want to be an engineer in civil engineering. So it allows you to have both of those options available to you. And because it's not a full double the amount of time, we actually condense it down a lot. Um, which Kavi and, and Tyson will be able to explain to you if, if you do want more information. Um, it actually means that you do two degrees in the time of about 1.5 degrees. So if, if you were looking at postgrad, this means that you wouldn't necessarily need to do that. You could still do it at bachelor's degree level, okay? So it just gives you that opportunity to study two degrees in two different areas over a shorter period of time and have two qualifications. Now, the benefit of the Bachelor of Business is that you get so much choice and flexibility. So it is a very big course. There is lots of different alternatives available to you. And with that, it means that you can really choose what you want to be. Have a look and, and see which areas of study you might be interested in. So we've got the, bachelor, the major in accounting, banking finance, business analytics and statistics, business law, business management, business studies, economics and business strategy, financial economic tricks, human resource management, international business, marketing and taxation. So there's lots of options for you there. Now the three new programs that we have are all highlighted there. So you'll see that we've got a new major called business analytics and statistics. This one here used to be called business statistics. But what we've done is we've figured out that a lot of students really crave information and analytical understandings and learnings from a technology basis. So what we've done there is we've combined analytics and statistics to form a new major. So you will see a few more units in the analytics area as part of this major. And you'll also get the core statistical learning that I'm sure you've all had to do in your diploma year that you all love. Um, so the other one that we've got on offer there is the business studies major. Now the benefit of the business studies major is that maybe you wanted to do some units in accounting or international business or marketing, but you weren't quite sure which one you wanted to, to set aside as a major. So the business studies major allows you to do maybe 
two units in marketing, two units in international business, two units in accounting, and two units in business management. And then you have what we call the business studies major. So it is fully flexible around what you want, okay? This one's a really, really good major to choose if maybe you're going home to take over your parents' business or a family member's business and you want multiple skill sets, you don't just want one major focus, this one's a really good option for you if that's the case. The other one that we've got is the financial econometrics major. Now this one here is a bit more mathematical. It sits a little bit like the business analytics and statistics major, but it combines finance in it, okay? So you're looking at things from a mathematical and financial perspective. It's a little bit different to what we normally offer in business because traditionally business degrees don't have a lot of maths. Um, so this one's a bit different, but it's still a really, really good option for you if you are looking for that little bit extra maths and maybe you don't get the score to get into commerce from your diploma, okay? So you've still got that option there to do econometrics and, 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 and some finance as a business um, degree. Any questions on the chat, guys, that I need to say anything about? No, nope. cool. So the next course that we'll talk about is business administration. So there hasn't been any course changes with business administration, but I just wanted to highlight that, you know, I know a lot of students can, can not necessarily feel like it's the best option because it doesn't have the highest score as far as getting in is concerned from your diploma, but it is a really good course if you, you need a bit more support. If you really like the components of Monash College where Tyson sends you emails every week and he yells at you and tells you what to do or Cavi sends you reminders to come to careers counselling sessions and things like that, the Bachelor of Business Administration is a very small course and the students and the teachers will have very good relationships with one another because there's not as many students support you in business and commerce, okay? If you like a more nurtured approach to learning and you like hands-on experience, business administration is a great course for that, okay? So within this course itself, you've got five choices of major, but just remember as well, if you do get into the business administration degree, you are still allowed to do a major outside of business administration. So if you wanted to do a major in business, that's okay, you can. You don't have to do all of your studies in business administration, okay? So that's a really important thing to consider if you're wanting more flexibility around your choice of major or offering that may not be available to you in this course. So you've, got, um, you've also got the business administration studies major here. This one is very similar to the business studies major in business. So it's another comprehensive major where you get to choose all different units as, as to your choosing for your career advancement. And then you've also got other areas such as your accountancy, finance, economics, marketing, comms and management. Just remember as well, with all of the degrees that we offer, they all allow you to have just as good a qualification and accreditation as, as each other. So accountancy in business administration is the same units as if you were doing it in business or commerce. There is no difference. Everyone meets the accounting qualifications required for you to then get credentials and, and training with, with the accounting bodies in Australia and overseas, okay? So it's one size fits all for all of our accounting degrees. The Bachelor of Commerce, now this one here is, like I was saying before, good for those ones who love maths. If you've done some maths units in your diploma and you really liked them, the Bachelor of Commerce is probably a good option for you. They look at problems and analyse them and they, they address things in an analytical way. So with the degree, you will find that there are lots of maths components in all of the majors. There are a couple that won't happen, but most of them will. And it's one thing to remember, if, even if you get the score in your diploma to do commerce, if maths isn't your friend, you don't want to do commerce because you won't like it. You won't, you, won't, you won't feel a connection to the program. 
Now with the Bachelor of Commerce, we've got one new major and it's called Mathematical Foundations of Econometrics. So this one here is, as you can imagine, very, very math focused, very, very, very involved in that area. You'll sit there and you'll work on spreadsheets and you'll calculate modelling and do all sorts of fan dangled things on that. Then you've also got the other majors within the Bachelor of Commerce that we've always had. So you've got accounting, actuarial studies, another very big math subject, behavioural commerce, business analytics, econometrics, economics, finance, management studies, marketing science and sustainability. With the marketing science, you might be a bit intrigued by that one because it's not like your regular marketing units that you might automatically think of as being websites and social media and building business brands and things like that. This one here instead looks at the science behind making decisions as far as marketing is concerned. So looking at data of how many people use certain websites at certain times of the day to then inform them as to which posts should go out on their Facebook pages in comparison to their LinkedIn page, in comparison to their advertising on the television and things like that. So it's, it's really the science and the maths behind and the research behind marketing in practice. Natalie, so, I do have a question yeah. on that one. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, no, go so, for it. Because this is a very famous um, question. What's the difference between marketing and science? So can I, in a way, then say marketing is more sort of um, looking at the human behavior, sort of, you know, what colors, like, for example, red is like, you know, alert or green is like exit or, you know, the color, the human behavior Correct. sort of link versus marketing yep. science could be more data oriented, like, Correct. where do you Com place such a product in, you know, that sort of. Is On that, the shelves, all that sort yes, of stuff in the supermarket. To see how many exactly, probabilities of, of people picking up that, you know, Correct. product and. So exactly there's more right. science, more calculation and probabilities Correct. that's involved more research. Versus, yes. versus the marketing from business. Yeah. Perfect. That is exactly right. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, so it depends thanks. upon who you are and, 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 and they're to two totally different types of minds as well. So it's very important to figure out which one suits you. And like I said before about the maths and the commerce degree, it's very important that you make a choice that is right for you and right for your skill set. And the diploma and, and, and the Muffy Foundation year are very good ways for you to learn from a basic level what you may be interested in in the business or that they don't tell you the whole story. So this is where you need to think about a little bit more, which area you think you fit into best, okay? Now, um, so I just wanted to duck quickly into the specialist degrees. So as far as our specialist degrees are concerned, some of you may be enrolled or, or, or looking at specialist programs. They're not as common, but I will still talk about them nonetheless, because they are quite um, important if you do have a passion or a specific area of interest. So um, what happens in a specialist degree is you will undertake most of your studies in that one area, and that one area will be your bachelor's degree qualification. For example, if you were to do a bachelor of accounting, you will graduate with a bachelor of accounting degree. That looks slightly different to if you, if you completed a Bachelor of Business and majored in accounting, okay? If you do a major, you are undertaking eight units in that area. If you do a specialist degree, you are undertaking minimum 11 units. So you can see that there is more qualification from you doing a specialist degree than if you were doing a major. Okay, so some students like a specialist degree and, they, and they're really passionate about one area, but not everyone is. And, and, and a lot of students will prefer to do multiple majors than do a specialist degree. So, so just remember that specialist degrees are for people who, are, who really know what they wanna study and they really like one area and they have strong interest and connection to that area. Uh, excuse okay. me, yeah. excuse me. Do you have a combination of your finance and marketing? Pardon? Do you have a combination of finance and marketing? As a double degree? Yeah. 
Unfortunately not. So you would have to do what we would say is a, a major, either a Bachelor of, fi of Banking and Finance and a Bachelor of Business. And in business, you would do marketing if you wanted. So you could do the double degree. Or you could do a and do two majors, one in banking and finance and one in finance, in, um, in marketing. Does that make sense? You just, I, think, I, think, I don't know if it was just my computer, but I think you cut out. Oh, sorry. Uh, just momentarily then, Natalie, when yeah. you were playing option two, you were saying, or you oh. could do a bachelor of something. Okay. So you, or you could do a Bachelor of Business and do a double major, so do two majors, one in marketing and one in banking and finance. Does that make sense? Su Suki or Suchi? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Is that, does that answer your question? Uh, I didn't hear very clearly. <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Maybe, maybe Tyson, can you type it in the chat? Yeah. Is that okay? Sorry, yeah, no my problem. apologies. I'm probably talking too quickly. You have to I'll, I'll just repeat what you said because uh, can, yeah. you, can you hear me, Suki? Can you hear me clearly? Uh, yes. Yes. So the options that Natalie suggested, option one was you could do a double degree in a bachelor of, was it finance that you're interested in, Suki? Finance and marketing, yeah? Yes. So you could do a, a double degree in a bachelor of commerce majoring Business. in a Bachelor of Business majoring in Banking and Finance. Banking and Finance. What's the difference between the uh, Banking and Finance and Finance? So in the Banking and Finance degree, you look at both areas, i.e. Banking and Finance. Um, so you don't just look at the, the mathematical side of things as, as finance and modelling and, and, um, and the data side. You look at both angles, so the, the, the human side of, of doing finance and the banking components as, as well as finance. So it's, it's a little bit human, humanistic, which is probably better for you if you are looking at marketing anyway, because you like to be involved in the consumer from what I can tell. Would that be right? Yeah, that because I want to also do some math and to study for the finance and also do some human stuff for the marketing but I didn't see yeah, the you will. in the like handbook. You will you will get the option to do maths in banking and finance. I can I can tell you that much. <laughs> awesome. Thanks. Thanks for that, um, Natalie. No worries. I hope I answered the question. Yeah, that's great. Um, okay. So I'll just actually that's it. There we go. Perfect questions. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah, we'll go. Through, let's go through the questions, shall I'll we? I'll just stop sharing my screen. How about that? Yeah, no Perfect. worries. All right. Um, <clears throat> should we go from the top down, Gabby? Uh, should we start with I'm just having a look through the chats here? Gabby's answered quite a few questions. Oh, there's a question here from Zainab. Um, Zainab has said, Hello, uh, question, business studies major in business uh, has eight units. So we're talking mm -hmm. here about the new business studies major that's being offered in 2021. Yep. So I'll choose two units from each major. Um, or one, or you could do whatever you wanted. Great. Okay. So to answer your question, Zainab, Natalie said you could, you could choose a, one unit from banking and finance. You could choose one or two units or three units from marketing one from management, you know, really mix it up. It's a, basically like a mixed bag of candy. Custom made. Custom made. <laughs> I love it. So if you're someone who's, you know, you don't want to completely commit to doing a major in marketing or a major in accounting, but you're like, I want to do a little bit of marketing, a little bit of accounting, you can choose business studies to get a bit of exposure to a bit of everything. Can, you, can I add, will that allow me to be, like, to have the same skills that if someone choose a specific major will have? Well, you'd only be doing smaller amounts of units in, in that area. So I guess the qualification and the skill level is variable on the amount of units you'll study. Mm -hmm. So if you're doing a major in one area, in comparison to doing two units in that area, you wouldn't have as much knowledge as what you would if you'd done the major. Thank you. 
So I think, Zainab, what Natalie was suggesting was that this major could be suitable for someone who is looking into maybe like entrepreneurship, like starting their own business or, you know, wanting to have a really broad understanding of how businesses operate from, you know, every, every aspect, which is, yeah. Quite That's cool. exactly right. Yeah. 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 Cool. Cool. Mm. Um, and Zainab, also business analytics and statistics. Can you please explain more about uh who it's suitable for in terms of math skills. So Zainab, what, what sort of maths do you like? Explain to me a little bit about what, what draws you to that to start with, and then I'll be able to help, I think. Yeah, I, I took the um, fundamental math in my foundation year. Yep, okay. Did you like it? What was your favorite part? <laughs> not all of it. I liked it, <laughs> but not like the business part of it. Okay, okay. So this one's probably a good one for you. The reason I say that is because um, you, you basically just work through a whole lot of scenarios and a whole lot of different case models and you input data and you try and solve problems through spreadsheets and, and all sorts of stuff. It, it, there, is a, there is a slight business component angle to it. So you might be looking at a business's books on, on something and trying to solve a, an error but you don't necessarily have to um, then produce business cases and more of a, a marketing angle to it to complete the, the project type thing. You're really just honing in on those statistical knowledge and skills. Mm -hmm. uh, could I take this as a minor? Yes, you could. Yep. Okay. Thank you so much. Great. Great That's question, right. Zainab. Thanks, Natalie. Okay, we next have a question from Evan. Evan's asked, I'm a student in actuarial science in Bachelor of Commerce. So I think he, Evan means planning to do actuarial science as his major in Bachelor Yeah, of actually, no, yeah. sorry. Yeah, go uh, ahead. Actually, yeah. Go. Uh, I, I'm a student in Commerce. Uh, oh, you're, you're a current so, student, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'm yeah, still yeah. in Commerce in uh, uh, okay. actuarial science. Yeah. So can I choose? Choose another course. Uh, oh, you want for to the transfer? Double degree. You, do oh, you, you want to get your yeah. degree? I, I have, I have this course. Uh, but, uh, you know the the situation is different. I actually I finished my um, first year college in Nairobi University, and uh, I have a three year uh, bachelor of commerce in actuarial science in Monash. So this, um, can I choose another one? Oh, you want to swap? Choose two subjects. I think you might need a consultation with Tyson and Cavi separately for that one. That seems like it might require a bit of work, Evan. Do you want to send your details to Tyson and Cavi or vice versa and you can, you can hook up a chat? And if need be, we can include the, the, the Monash Business School staff as well. Yep. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll put the details for you, Evan, for how you can make a booking with uh, me or Cabby um, on Zoom by College Connect. Okay. Cool. Um, all right, next, uh, I think Cabby's actually put, us, put an email there that you can use. One step ahead of you. Legend, thanks Cabby. <laughs> um, all right, next question we have is from the marvellous Juni Wang. Juni is asked, could you please kindly explain the difference between Bachelor of Business and Bachelor of Commerce besides the GPA requirement? A common <laughs> question, Natalie. Ta-da. So, yes. So, basically, as a degree, commerce is, is mathematical. It's designed for people who want to look at things from an analytical perspective. They want to calculate, they want to work with numbers. They're really, really interested in those areas, okay? A business degree offers a bit more diversity. So a business degree is great for people who like to talk to people, who like to involve themselves in, in maybe on the ground business, I like to say. So you might work in a, in a business like someone who's studying commerce, but instead of being in the office working on your computer and, 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 and doing work, you will instead be on the phone to a client or you'll be liaising with other people and you'll have a very different role of the business. Does that make sense? 
So you might work in marketing instead, or you might work in um, a taxation role, or you might work in um, management. So um, for example, you might decide that you, you want to work with um, HR and human resources, okay? That works with people in the business, yeah? Whereas in, in commerce, you might be more interested in doing things like um, finance or actuarial science, where you're spending most of your time on computers solving mathematical problems. Mm. Can I just add on to that? Because um, yeah. I, I remember when I was, because um, I speak to a lot of uh, MEB diploma students or you know English students, so I always tell them there's a very clear difference between business and commerce. And usually it's maths, it's school of business and you cannot yep. not do, run away from not doing maths, right? So I used mm. to always tell my students, you know, you know, in a very casual joking manner, you know what to like and love. So if you like maths, stick with business. And if you really love maths, then you go to commerce because when you get to commerce, you have to, like you said, Natalie, you'll have to deal with mathematics on a more daily basis. It's mm. not how great you are, but mm. how much do you like it? that you have to utilize mm. this maths and calculation on every subjects, you know, whether it's accounting mm. or whether you're going to be doing like actual science. Like if you don't mm. like maths, do it's business. a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a problem. So, and, and it's, the not just, it's not just, but in the official website, there are lots of similar, similarly of majors mm. in list two, to list two, you will, so, you, yes, I, I do agree with you, Junyi, there, um, you, you are right, except when you do actually delve into the assessment of the majors, accounting is different because accounting requires qualification and certain study prescribed learning, um, but you will, you will find that for, for some of the others, the assess mode is different. So if, for example, you are doing a banking and finance degree, versus a finance degree, your exam might be in banking finance, you have to write an essay and you have to explain the answers of your cal calculations. Whereas in a finance degree, it might just be all calculations, right? So you're, you're, you're looking at different areas of, of the same sort of field, but you're responding in different ways and you're, you're attacking things from a very different angle. So if you are happy to sit there and write an essay instead of sitting there and answering problems and, 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 and doing calculations, then that's, that's your choice. But you're right, it is, it is a bit confusing, especially when we've got the new majors now in, in both degrees, there seems to be a bit more overlap. Um, but, but part of the reason we introduce some more, more, finance, um, more, more numbers based majors in business was because we do notice that students may not get the GPA to do commerce, but still have the interest in studying some math units. And that's why we've added those into the business degree to be more inclusive to people who did not necessarily get the score. Mm. Mm. Okay, I know. Uh, so for the more detail, where can I find the information? Uh, yeah, so because I want to uh, choose the BA, business analysis, mm -hmm. and they both, they both have this major. Yes, yes, correct. So what I would do then is I would, on the course handbook for the Bachelor of Business, you can look at the units. When you click on the units, it will tell you which campus you can study. And there should be a differentiation for each campus, okay? That means that there's a different um, style of subjects for each core, each major. Does that make sense? So when you look at business an analytics online, you then click into the individual units for business and then the individual units for commerce, there may be some difference. Okay, thank you. No worries. Thanks, Junyi. Thanks, Natalie. I've shared a link to the, um, to the handbook as well, Perfect. which for you to check out. Um, Natalie, are, are the handbook, uh, is the handbook updated yet with these new majors or it's still- 21, it should be, yes. Mm. Okay, so the new majors are available now in under 2021. Okay, cool. Yep. Um, all right, so our next question, if we just go through the chats again, uh, is from uh, uh, Liart. Uh, Liart has said, hello, I wanted to ask a silly question. Well, Liart, there's no such thing as a silly question. The only silly question no. is the question that you didn't ask and then you regret later. You're like, shoot, I should have asked that question when Natalie was here. This is a great <laughs> question. 
I wanted to ask a question about a business and IT double degree. How many majors and minors should I pick? Uh -huh. So in a double degree, you get one major from each area. So in IT, you must choose a major. In business, you must choose a major. One room for any other majors or minors. So in this case, so you do your core no. units in business and core units in IT. We cannot, a student could not do a double major with a double degree, is that right? Oh, sorry, will you, no, no, not in one area because there's not enough room. So what happens with a double degree is you get enough space to do the core units and your major for each degree. And then often you get maybe one or two electives and that's it. That's mm. how we make it shorter in time and, and cheaper. Yeah, right. So that, um, actually a student asked earlier, what was, you know, we've talked about the advantages of doing a double degree. The, the big advantage is obviously you can save a lot of time and, and money because you yeah. two degrees, which would be separately six years of study for, mm. you know, in four years. Four years, um, yeah. But what are the disadvantages? And perhaps that's one of the, the disadvantages, Natalie, is that mm. you are limit, a bit more limited in what uh, you can choose in terms mm. of units and specifically you can only have one major. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Not a double yep. major. Okay. That's it. Cool. That's good to know. Um, Perfect. Lynn, Lynn Ha has asked, I choose to study a double degree of business and media communication. A great choice. How many majors mm. do I have to take? Mm. I think we did that one just then, didn't we? One from each. One from each, Lynn. So you choose a major in business out of the 12 choices. And then in media and communication, there are three specializations, I think, to choose from. Uh, there's uh, media, there's public oh. relations, screen, and I think actually there's fourth, and journalism. Yep. It's like we have to choose uh, one major and uh, a degree and one uh, specialization degree in another. Oh, okay, I got it. Thank you so much. You're a smart girl. Great question. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Shruti has asked, I want to do fashion marketing. So is it good if I take business administration? Interesting. You know, choice. That's an interesting choice. You know, you could, or you could look at doing business and design as a double degree. And in business, you could do marketing. And in design, you could look at the different areas where they have the option to do things like um, fashion. Mm. I've not seen like any of those like options on the website, so I was not sure if these. I've, I've not seen them on the website. For just, for for fashion, you mean? Sorry. Yeah, for design and like any business course, because I know there's marketing and I know there's yep. business admin, but I don't know like because the business core is really high. The one that's in Clayton. Caulfield. 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 Yeah. And. For business admin, like they have a major in marketing, so. Correct, and you were very right to think that, and 100%, that's definitely an option. You could definitely take business administration and do and do marketing communications. Beautiful, great choice. The other option, if you do wanted to pursue fashion a bit more seriously, um, you could look at the double with business and design, which we definitely offer, um, but it might be best if you had a consultation and, and discuss that a little bit more and, and went through the, the, the details of the design majors that you could choose from, yeah. Mm. What I'm thinking off the top of my head, Shruti, is doing a major in um, visual communication for, um, for design. Like if you're interested in fashion marketing, for example, let's say you wanted to work at, uh, I don't know, ASOS, and you wanted to help with ASOS with building out their social media presence, managing their, their Insta and their Facebook or whatever else, um, doing communication design, learning graphic design um, together with the principles of marketing could make you very, very employable, um, you know, if that was an option for you. Uh, the other thing mm. is, of course, getting lots of internships and work experiences, uh, working in, you know, in fashion. You know, you could, you could just do a single degree in business majoring in marketing, become a marketing gun, and then I also have this great part-time work experience as a uni student where you've, you've interned or done work experience for fashion lab labels. Mm. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. 
If you have any more questions, Shruti, just make an appointment on College Connect with me or Cavi. We can talk about a plan for you in more detail and we can make it really personalized for you as well. Yeah, thank you. Welcome, absolutely. Um, all right, let's keep going. Ian has asked, <clears throat> if. if I have already finished my first two years in China, Ian, can you just confirm, are you talking about your first two years of your degree or your diploma here at Monash College? Just got the diploma from the uh, cooperation with the Shanghai University and the UCS. Oh, you, you're from partnership. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yes. Partnership student. Yep. Mm -hmm. So if I've already finished my first two years in China and there are still two years left, so can I choose the double major and how many years would it take? So because you've only got two years left, Ian, we'd have to look at the actual units that you will get credit for from your first two years of study. So if you can get credit for your core units and, and credit towards one of your majors, then yes, you should be able to do a double major. However, sometimes with the partnership agreements, it doesn't always work that easily. And sometimes your, your units from your first two years will count as electives. So maybe what I might do, Ian, is get you to send an email to Tyson or Cavi and, um, and you, can, you can send them maybe your uh, agreement or your, your transcript and we can, we can just have a look in a bit more detail as to what, what your options are. How does that sound? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that, yeah, is that and, good, Ian? And, oh, one more question. So yeah, uh, the, the course name on my offer is the Bachelor of Business Administration. So yep. can I choose any major from the commerce, uh, Bachelor of Commerce? Assuming you meet the prerequisites, you, you will be able to select one. But just remember, most of your course still has to be from business administration because that's your home degree. That's your, your core degree. So um, it's still probably best if we have a look at your transcript first and we can then figure out what flexibilities you've got around that. Okay? Yes, thank you so much. Thanks Ian. And no again, worries. If you wanted to get in touch with us, Ian, it's just, uh, Cabby's put our email address in careers at monashcollege.edu.au. Uh, okay, great. So uh, Evan has asked, would the double degree bring more burden to students? Evan, great question. Um, a common question that students ask is, if I study a double degree, does that mean in a semester I've got to study more than four units? The simple answer is no. Um, you don't study more in your semester. You still have the same study load, but what will happen, Evan, is you add an extra one year of study. But it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be more burdensome or more difficult for you. In fact, sometimes, depending on what two degrees you choose, one degree may be easier for you, for your study abilities. And so you might even use it as a time to kind of relax, maybe do, you know, two really challenging commerce units, but then you do your uh, double degree with arts and then you choose two units in media, which are maybe easier for you. Um, that can be an advantage to you. So uh, it's more just an additional one year to be, um, to be aware of. Next question, though, we have is from Suchi, Suki has asked, what does, what does behavior commerce, behavioral commerce uh, involve? What is it about, maybe? Yeah. Sorry, I dropped that. That's all right. Are you still, can you, can you hear me, Natalie? Yeah. Uh, I can hear you now. And Suki, you can hear me as well? Yeah. So, Suki, you'd like to know what is behavioural commerce about? Yeah, uh, Natalie, could you could you tell us what um, behavioural commerce is is all? Perth, I can do that. So, look, it looks at the the mindsets and the motivations and the the decisions that people make around around business choices. So, it has a bit of a combination of psychology and business. Um, and it looks at decision-making factors and it looks at thinking and putting yourself inside other people's heads and, and, and how they progress to making 
results happen or how they progress to coming to certain conclusions and things like that. Does that make sense? Makes sense to me, Natalie. So it's a bit of a combination. I might, I might like share the link. Yeah. And commerce together. Yeah, I might share the link. Yeah, exactly. I'll send it here. Yeah. There we go. Cool. Thanks, Natalie. Um, no I think we're, I think we're on to our last question. Um, this question is from Monica. Um, I'm a business diploma student. My major is business. Can I choose a major in marketing in the second year? Right? Could you explain about some marketing? details so for, to, do you want to know about the in-depth core um, units yeah um, so Monica first to answer that question you can actually look at specifically at the units yourself um, on the Monash handbook web page you can see all of the units that you would um, you would study and I can quickly show you how that might work so again I've shared the link to the handbook page if you watch my screen if I search marketing and then if I go to advanced search and I search by areas of study to look for majors and I can see here the marketing major. If I click on here, I can actually see all of the specific units that I would study in the marketing major. I'll share a link to this as well. So you can see for yourself. Oh, okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. No problems at all. Um, we do have another question, two more questions that have come through. One from Yuhan has said, if business and marketing, do both of them have internships? If I have the chance to choose the area, do I have the chance to choose the internship? Yes, yeah, so all of our courses allow you to do an internship. Um, so no matter which you use, you will, be ha you will be able to have the option to study an internship. We do suggest, though, that it is, it is important that you work hard in your area of major so that when it does come time to, to picking your internship or to, to finding an internship independently, that you are well competitive compared to the other students. So it's important that you look like you've, you've worked hard at your studies and you, you're really striving to be the best in that area when you graduate. So we do encourage you to, to, to work hard there and, and the internships are available for all students, yeah. Thank you, Natalie. And doing an internship is a great, great yeah. opportunity to add, you, like to complete units and get some practical experience in your degree. I exactly right. Yeah, I encourage all of you guys to do internships uh, when you start your uni degree. Um, Suki then has asked, what is the difference between marketing and behavioral commerce um, uh, Natalie, do you want to take that one? Yeah, I can do that. But I might, I might also say to you, Suki, considering we've just shared the marketing units on the handbook, I would also encourage you to look at the behavioural commerce units in a similar way and actually look at the individual units differently because they, that will help paint a better picture for you to learn and understand the difference. Fundamentally, marketing is about you know, buying and selling and, and consumer behaviour and things like that. Whereas behavioural commerce is a bit more around the psychology behind choosing things and making decisions and, and, and whatnot. So there is a difference, um, but it's probably best for your own eyes to look through each of those majors and have a look at the individual units. Yeah. Mm, yeah, good mm. advice, Natalie. I think for any student, if you are, you know, you've chosen a major or you're still deciding which majors you want to choose in your degree, um, please do visit the handbook website and do what I just did then when I shared my screen, which is find your major, look at the specific units you study and carefully think, hey, do these units sound like something I would like to study? Because that should be you know, your, first, uh, your first inquiry. Will you like them? Will you enjoy them? Uh, we have a question here from uh, uh, Jada. Jada has said, I'm a commerce diploma student. Can I change my major and choose some unrelated majors such as biology? Assuming you meet the prerequisite to get to do a biology major, of course you can. So in this case, uh, if uh, Jada was doing a single degree in commerce, they could do a, a double major, one in say mark, uh, accounting and, and one in yep. biology. Yep. 
Okay. You've, just got to make, you've just got to make sure, Jada, that in the, in the Faculty of Science, they do require that you've done a combination of two sciences, which includes maths. So you will need to make sure that you met, met their prerequisites to get in. Uh, can I just change my major and I don't need to study in commerce? Oh, you don't want to study commerce. You want to change your degree. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's probably a conversation you need to have with Tyson and Kavita then. Okay. Yeah, um, Jada, set up a Zoom call with me or Cavi via College Connect and uh, we can discuss with you uh, there. I won't be offended, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? How we can do the appointment, like how we can... How, how do you do the, the appointments? Yeah, yeah. great question. Um, I'll show you how. So you're going to go to a website called College Connect. I'll do it on my screen. And I've so, shared the link on the chat now, so... Just yeah. to click open. So, because I'm I'm not a student, it won't look the same as what it does for you guys. But you go to this website called College Connect. If you're not using College Connect, guys, start using it. It's amazing. It's a great, great platform where you can find out about all the cool events that we have planned. It's also a place where you can get course advice, you can get learning skill advice, you can see learning consultants, and most importantly, of course, you can come see me and Cavi. So what you would do is at the top, there's the appointments button, and then you would choose the uh, advisor. Now, because I'm logged in, I can't see my own name, but you would look for my name, which is Tyson Craft or Cavi's name, and then you can um, pick us, and then you'll find our free time, and you'll be then able to make a, and a booking about, uh, you know, via this, this calendar here. You'll see the available times, and then view appointment, Make a booking, and that's how you make a booking to speak to either me or Cavi on a 20-minute Zoom for free. If you want to give me a tip, I take uh, Australian dollars, uh, US dollars, RMB is fine as well. Very, very flexible with currency. <laughs> I reckon we've got time for one more question. What do you reckon? Yeah, last question. Yuhan, will the handbook have any changes within the next one year? No. Good question. Really good question. Not for you because because Johan, um, what happens is when you enrol in your um in your in your diploma and your commerce or business degree, you have a set year that it's that your course starts and you have to adhere to the rules of that year. So even if the course changes in twenty twenty two, what will then happen is you have to then abide by the rules of twenty twenty two. But if you start in twenty twenty one they're the rules you must adhere to. Even if the course changes in the future, it doesn't apply to you. It only applies to the year that you, the, the, the commencing year. Does that make sense? T totally. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No worries. Mike. You've been an absolute legend. Can you guys see my screen? Can you see this colorful picture? Oh, look at that. Yeah, nice. Guys, can you please join me in giving Natalie a huge thank you and a big round of applause to Natalie. Thank you so much, Natalie. You're a superstar. Thank you all. Thanks everyone for coming on the Friday afternoon. Thanks guys for coming. Make sure to visit College Connect to find out about our future events, to book an appointment with me or Cavi. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. Eat some delicious food. Call your mum or dad. Tell them you love them. We'll see you next time. Enjoy Thanks the sunshine. So. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Everybody. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.